Hey guys, it's Clay with Minute Ministry. I'm back out in the dark again. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to talk about how we should marvel and we should have wonder for the cross. Got a minute? See, one of the things that kind of happens is a lot of times we get up in the gospel and we're like, yeah, okay, I understand. I get the gospel. I have it. You know, like I know the good news. And we forget that this good news is so much better than what we even give it credit for. We probably in this lifetime will never understand how deep and how awesome the the gospel is and specifically the cross. In fact, I was told that one day um, Billy Graham was asked, he said, uh, he was asked basically, hey, if you had one message, one thing that you could say, like you knew you were gonna die, this is the last message that you will ever give, what would you preach about? And, or what would you tell people about? And he said, I would tell them about the cross. And so there is something about this. Now, whenever you think about this, you've got to understand that the cross was a symbol before Jesus was around. It symbolized the end of hope. When people would go into these cities where there was someone hung up on the cross, it warned them, look, if you want to come in here and steal, if you want to come in here and cause problems, then this is what we'll do with you. That's why they put them on a hill. And they put them on a hill in front of the city right next to where everybody came in. So whenever we talk about Calvary Hill, you know, like the hill that Jesus went up and was hung on, it was right there. For the world to see and it was meant to send a sign that no 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 no, no none of that's going to happen here we will kill you and so this end of kind of like this extra hope of like wh whatever it was like hey look like no, no 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 this place this place you better not mess around in and so that being said jesus takes this hopeless place if you were on calvary hill it was hopeless and he takes this place and he makes it the birthplace of hope. Because don't you know the gospel is not about doing the things the, the way the world does. You know, like the first shall be last, the last shall be first. If you want to be the greatest, you got to be the servant of all. And so I just wanted to kind of just take a moment and think about that. For the first century Christians, the cross, whenever they were being persecuted... They would, you know, the, their little crosses were symbols. Whenever they would cross somebody, uh, come across somebody along the, the travel and they would see that cross, they would know what it meant. They would know why that person was wearing it. And this was a symbol to them that showed to them that, hey, look, no, I, I am a believer in Jesus. And so they, they were able to identify each other and be able to really share in fellowship with one another. And so a lot of times today, it's just a fashion statement. It's just a thing, you know, like everybody can wear it if you're not even a Christian. But we need to take a moment and just think about, man, God, you took the hopeless place and you brought hope. You brought hope into my hopeless place. You brought hope into the hopeless places of so many. And that's the gospel. That's the point. That we didn't have hope. We didn't have this wonderful relationship with God prior to the gospel. So just ponder on that. Think about it. Take some moments just to be like, God, thank you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for bringing hope into my hopeless places. Thanks for taking a minute, guys. All right.